when driving gear will rotate driven gear will also rotate but why because tooth of driving gear will come in contact with tooth of driven gear as driving gear is rotating tooth on earth will push tooth on driven gear and due to that push tooth of driven gear will change its position and it will result into rotation of driven gear line along which push is exerted by tooth of driving gear to tooth of driven gear that line is known as line of action that line of action is also common normal at the point of contact of meshing teeth in this animation lower gear is the driving gear or driver and upper gear is the driven gear Now we will have discussion on how meshing will take place in gears. Tooth on driving gear will come in contact with tooth on driven gear. Tooth on driving gear should enter into the territory of driven gear and that territory is tooth space and it should also leave that territory. In simple words, tooth on driving gear should get into the tooth space and then get out of the tooth space of driven gear. First point of contact between meshing teeth will be at flank of driver and tip of driven gear tooth. As driving gear will rotate, point of contact between meshing teeth will change its position along tooth profile. Initially, point of contact will be in the flank region of driving gear and face region of driven gear. After some time, it will be at pitch point. It will be, I mean, point of contact will be at pitch point. After that, point of contact will be in face region of driving gear and flank region of driven gear. Means here we will notice point of contact is moving away from driving gear and it is moving towards driven gear. Last point of contact will be tip of driver and flank of driven gear. Progressively same thing will happen for next meshing tooth pair.